Central C. For me, the king of melodic drill. The beats that he uses usually contain guitars, vocal chops and some lighter instruments and melodies in general. His new mixtape is gonna drop pretty damn soon. So if you want to jump on some Central C type beat wave and make some bad, I'm gonna show you the best approach. Alright, so we're gonna start with guitar melody. So if you're like me, and you don't know how to play real guitar, you're basically doomed. <laughs> so if you're like me, and you don't know how to play real guitar, I'ma show you the plugin which is the greatest gem for making guitar melodies and chords. The plugin is called Scalar 2, and it lets you write chords, use different pre-composed chord sets, or create your own ones in any scale you can imagine. You can easily record them and export MIDI files. So after I came up with chords, I've used this drop down menu to play a riff based on those. I've also enabled this humanized feature for both velocity and timing to make it even more realistic. And the outcome is getting pretty close to guitar melody, but we need to make some changes. For the guitar instrument itself, you can use whatever you have in your arsenal. Some great free plugins are Ample Guitar Lite, Spitfire Labs or Vinyl Guitar by Echo Soundworks. But here, I've used my favorite contact library, which is Session Guitarist Pick Acoustic. And with the addition of those key switches here, we got as close to a real guitar melody as possible. Next, I added this pad from Analog Labs to fill the background a little. And of course, vocal chops from Arcade. So keep in mind that we are aiming towards the rapper jumping on this beat. So don't get crazy with some vocal phrases. Find or cut tiny pieces and keep them in the background. And the best plugin to keep your vocals in the background is a free one called Origin by Simatic. So we're gonna apply this little bad boy on the vocal chops and now hear how they sound with it. Now I'm gonna freeze this because my MacBook and OBS it's not the greatest pair to be honest. Eh? No. No. And now let's quickly make some drums and 808. Now I'm gonna apply the technique I highlighted in my previous video about mixing drums. I'm gonna play some perk sounds while the whole melody and basic drum pattern is playing and then we'll check if those are matching or not. And I'm gonna use some percussion fills to speed up the process a little. Let's quickly check if the beat will actually fit for Central C. Now it's the perfect time for you to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're really serious about making drill beats, 
I guarantee you that after watching this next video, you're gonna dominate the drill type beat game.